We introduce an unsupervised method, for learning probably symmetric, deformable 3D objects from images in the wild. Our model is trained using only single view images, of a weakly symmetric object category, with no additional supervision at all, such as ground truth 3D, multiple views, or prior shape models. In order to do this, we propose a learning pipeline, which we call photo-geometric autoencoding. Our model decomposes an input image into depth, albedo, viewpoint and lighting, together with a pair of confidence maps. It is trained using a reconstruction loss, without any external supervision. In detail, each training image is passed through different networks to produce depth, albedo, viewpoint and lighting. These four components are combined to reconstruct the input image. However, without constraints, this decomposition is not possible, as degenerate solutions exist. Here, we use the fact that the object has a bilateral symmetry. To do this, we flip both depth and albedo horizontally. In addition to the original reconstruction, we also produce another reconstruction from the flipped depth and flipped albedo. The next few slides switch between two reconstructions. We then minimize both reconstruction losses at the same time. However, individual objects are often not fully symmetric. Therefore, we augment our model to reason about symmetry probabilistically. Our model additionally outputs a pair of confidence maps, and minimizes the two confidence-adjusted reconstruction losses asymmetrically. Note that in this way, asymmetries, such as the hair, are preserved. Next, we show qualitative results. We first show the results on human faces. For each example, the leftmost image is the input, and the rest three are reconstruction, normal map and 3D shape respectively. The next slide shows the results on face paintings. These results are obtained from a model trained on real face images, without fine-tuning at all. Next, we show the results on abstract face drawings. Our trained model learns a shape prior on human faces, and generalizes to abstract faces, including line drawings and cartoon images. We also test our trained model on video frames. Note that we do not use videos for training. The following results are obtained by applying our trained model frame by frame. Always wanted to make just enough money to buy a beautiful home in Louisiana and to have kids and do that. You know, I never thought I was going to continue to do what I It just came so naturally, you know, because of how free the environment was. We had the room to play and there was that, that trust and support from your friends and your fellow players in that movie. That Man. He's the funnest. Him, mm. him and Snake Eyes are my two favorite characters in the movie. Cool. He's he just has fun. And when, when the director let us just play, that was some of my favorite movies. I, I, they're there when you're singing with somebody that you've admired or being Welsh. I got to sing at Tom Jones' 60th birthday. I thought my mum was going to pass out. Next, we show relighting effects. Since our model decomposes an input image into intrinsic albedo and illumination, we can easily relight the objects with different lighting conditions. We also test our method on cat faces. Finally, we show results on synthetic cars. Thank you for watching.